Rihanna Moshweshwe was last seen on these streets a decade ago. She was 15 years old when she vanished. Although never found, a man linked to her disappearance was convicted and sentenced to 36 years behind bars. The family has been torn apart. The family actually uh, has gone into a terrible time. It has been traumatic. It is eating us as a family. It is destroying us slowly. I, ca I cannot honestly, in my wildest dreams, believe that at uh, close to 10 years, a decade, that this child is still alive. Uh, I would like to find closure. Meeting the homeless woman in Pretoria has brought renewed hope. She had braces. Rihanna had braces. Um, her forehead, her eyes, her mouth, a smile, her beauty, um, mark, yeah, everything. And then we went for the DNA tests, and I said, okay, no, fine, it's, it's okay. I'll hear from that, and I don't know, um, why is they taking so long with the DNA tests? I don't say it's my daughter, I don't say it's not my daughter. I'm just waiting for the results. I don't want to be excited. I don't, I'm neutral. I'm hopeful since I've been hopeful. Community members are rallying behind the distraught family. We've been offering a lot of mostly emotional support. Um, we, we helped with awareness um, with the march that we had. Not long after the march, it was Rihanna's 25th birthday. Um, so the group came to spend time with the family again to celebrate her birthday. With the homeless woman's picture being circulated on social media, the family is discouraging speculation until the DNA results are released. Police say the National Forensic Laboratory has prioritized the case and is at an advanced stage. Refilo Mekwa, SABC News, Kimberley.